Yeah, good morning, hope you. Uh, myself, Professor Pradeep, Department of Bacterial Engineering, Ajay Kumar Engineering College. Today, I will discuss uh, about STL file format and serializing, which is required for additive manufacturing. As you know, additive manufacturing is defined as layer by layer manufacturing of physical parts directly from 3D CAD model. It is an automated process of fabricate prototype parts, tools, and assemblies without any cutters, tools, or fixtures. A below given block diagram shows the gen generic method of additive manufacturing. First, we need a CAD model which we can prepare using any CAD software. The preparation of CAD file using solid modeling, digitizing, or scanning. Then we have to convert that CAD model or CAD file into a format known as STL file format. Today, we will discuss about this STL file format. Then we have to manipulate these STL files. After generating the STL file, we need to generate the support structure and the orientation of the build part. The next step is we have to slicing the STL file to form a different layer. As we are aware, this additive manufacturing layer by layer manufacturing, we have to manufacture the part in layers. Then after slicing, the next step is produce the physical object using the any additive manufacturing technology. After completing, after building the part, we have to remove the part and support the structure. Then there is a post processing. So there are two main steps required for additive manufacturing. The first is the generation of STL file, then slicing of STL file to form the layer. So today we will discuss about generation of STL files and the slicing of STL files. So first we have to discuss uh, generation of STL file format. STL format was developed and published in 1987 by 3D Systems for converting 3D CAD models for use in stereo lithography apparatus and has become the de facto standard for the data input for all types of LED manufacturing system. The input of slicing is a standard STL file which is most commonly used to represent CAD models in LED manufacturing process. Planning due to the simplicity and ability to tessellation of almost all surfaces. The STL file format is generated using a tessellation process which generates triangles to represent the CD CAD model. These triangles are described by a set of X, Y and Z coordinates for each of three vertices and a unit normal vector to indicate which side of the triangle contains the mass. This means the STL file format required three coordinate of a triangle that is known as a vertex and one normal vector which define the orientation of that part. A steel file with the surface triangulation includes a finite set of triangles satisfying the following conditions. Each edge is shared by at most two triangles. A vertex shared by any number of triangles. The connectivity each triangle has at least one point in common with another triangle. Note to note property if a vertex shared by a second triangle, then it is also a vertex of the second triangle. No piercing, no overlapping, no triangle has to intersect with the interior of any other triangle. These are the five conditions we all we must be uh, satisfied to form the tessellation of from the STL file. An STL file consists of a list of triangles facet that are which define the surface of a three dimensional object. Each facet is uniquely identified by a unit number. A line perpendicular to a triangle with a length of 1 and by 3 vertices corners. The normal and each vertex size specifies 3 coordinates each. So, there is a total of 12 numbers stored for each facet. Each facet is a part of the boundary between the interior and the exterior of the object. This is the format of STL file in ASCII. STL file ASCII format in second column. Okay. The solid as the facet normal, the coordinate this facet normal is given in the left side column and the description is identified the material set. As we already this facet normal is used to find the material side. Then the outer loop is started, the start there are three vertex x by z is given by its coordinates, x by z for each vertex then the end loop is there end of the triangle vertex and facet end of the triangle information 
and solid end of the solid uniform. This is the formation of one triangle for the tessellation of a CAD model. So, this is the simple STL format which have one facet normal and three vertex for each triangle. As we seen there are a STL file example. The triangulation of each object we have to convert the CAD model into STL file. The STL if the CAD model is converted into STL file there is a triangulation. So, we can vary the size of the triangles is small the finer mass is there and the accuracy of this STL more as compared to if the size of the triangle is more. But the time to put that part is also increase if the decrease the triangulation size. The next step after triangulation we need to slice it. So, slicing is very important task in the additive manufacturing. So, slicing the geometric requires the data from the bottom to the top. So, first we have to find the cutting plan. So, slicing purpose we have to find the cutting plan. The program scans STL file, picks the Z coordinates of the alpha set, compare and find the top, the bottom of the geometry, minimum and Z minimum and Z maximum and the layer of thickness to the minimum. So, then we have to find the Z coordinate of this cutting plan, Z is equal to Z minimum, the bottom of the uh, part plus the layer thickness. The layer thickness we can provide it at the starting. It may be depending on the uh, additive manufacturing technology, additive manufacturing machine. The layer thickness may be very, we start from 100 microns to 200 or 300 microns. It depends on the system or technology we are going to use for uh, build that part. Then we have to find the face at the intersect with the cutting plan. So, first we find the cutting plan, then we have to find the face at that intersect with the cutting plan. So, the program scans STL file to pick one facet at a time. The Z coordinates of its three vertex compared with the Z height of the current plan. The Z minimum less than is equal to Z of cutting plan, less than is equal to Z maximum. The Z minimum and Z minimum are in one triangle. The program ignores the facet that does not intersect with the cutting plan and proceeds to check the next facet. Then we have to find the lines that intersect with the current plan. When the facet with intersect with the cutting plan is found, the program slices the facet according to the seven possible cases divided into five groups. The group one, all vertices away from the cutting plan. The group two, the one point in the cutting plan with the two remaining vertices in different regions. Group three, one point in the cutting plan with the two remaining vertices can be above or below the cutting plan. Group four, the two vertices lie in the cutting plan. The remaining vertex can be above or below the cutting plane. Group 5, all the three vertices in the cutting plane. Here we can say, see the four possible cases of facet cutting. In the group 1, the cutting plane not passing any vertex. In the group 2, the cutting plane is passing through the one vertex and the other vertex is above and below the cutting plane. In the group through, the cutting plan passing through the and the two vertices are above or the below the cutting plan. In the group 4, the two but the cutting plan is passing through the two vertex, the another third vertex can be above or below the cutting plan. These are the four possible facet plan slicing group. For each of these triangles, the program program has to find which lines intersect with the slicing plan by checking the ZA less than equal to Z and Z less than equal to ZB or ZA in between Z in between ZA and ZC or Z in between ZB and ZC. So, ZA, ZB and ZC of the one triangle as we can see the three vertices of one triangle and the inner section points is the given triangle the, there are three points A, B and C. The intersection point for the segment AB, the point is A, X by Z is the coordinate of that point. So, we can find this triangle is intersect with the cutting line. So, find X by coordinates of the intersection. So, for each of these lines, we find X by coordinates of the points where the edge is intersected by the slicing plane. The general equation to find the point's coordinate is x minus x1, x2 minus x1 is equal to y minus y1 
वाई टू माइनस जेड वन जेड टू माइनस जेड वन तो भाई कनेक्टिंग द इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट इन ईस्ट ट्राइंगल सेट ऑफ स्टेट लाइन विल बी फॉर्म द स्लाइसिंग आउटपुट इज ए लिस्ट ऑफ लाइन इन ए रैंडम ऑर्डर फॉर्म से क्लोज कंट्रोल देन द फाइनल स्टेट इज द कंट्रोल कंस्ट्रक्शन द कंट्रोल आर क्लोज पॉलीगन्स दैट डू नॉट इंटरसेक्ट विद इच अदर द स्टार्ट एंड एंड बर्टिस ऑफ ए लाइन आर कॉल द हेड्स एंड द टेल ऑफ द लाइन रेस्पेक्टिवली द पोजिशन ऑफ द हेड ऑफ द वन लाइन इज द सेम पोजिशन ऑफ द टेल ऑफ द नेबरिंग लाइन द हेड टू टेल सर्च कनेक्ट द लाइन बाई चेकिंग द कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ द हेड ऑफ वन लाइन विद द टेल ऑफ ए नेबरिंग लाइन दिस कंपेरिजन प्रोसेस शुड प्रोड्यूज ए करेक्ट स्लाइस कंट्रोल दिस इज अलग रिथिम फॉर कंट्रोल कंस्ट्रक्शन फ्लो चार्ट तो फर्स्ट ओपन स्लाइसिंग फाइल एंड ट्रांसफर फर्स्ट लाइन सेगमेंट टू ए कंट्रोल फाइल रीड द नेक्स्ट सेगमेंट रीड द नेबर लाइन इफ नॉट फाइंड ए ट्रांसफर सेगमेंट नॉट इंक्लूड इन द कंट्रोल इफ नॉट देन ऑल सेगमेंट ट्रांसफर सेव एंड क्लोज कंट्रोल फाइल इफ यस नेबर लाइन इज देयर ट्रांसफर द सेगमेंट एंड रिकॉर्ड रिओर्डर कंट्रोल क्लोज इफ नॉट देन फाइंड ए ट्रांसफर सेगमेंट एंड इंक्लूड ए कंट्रोल लाइन इफ नॉट ऑल सेगमेंट ट्रांसफर सेव एंड क्लोज कंट्रोल लाइन कंट्रोल क्लोज ऑल सेगमेंट ट्रांसफर इफ नॉट फाइंड द ट्रांसफर सेगमेंट नॉट इंक्लूड इन कंट्रोल लाइन इफ यस देन सेव एंड क्लोज द कंट्रोल पर दिस इज द कंट्रोल कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ रिथम फ्लो चार्ट दर इज द कंट्रोल फिलिंग द कंट्रोल फिलिंग वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन प्रॉब्लम इन ग्राफिक्स एंड पिक्चर एनालिसिस एज एन एडिटिव मैन्युफैक्चरिंग वेर द कंट्रोल इज डिफाइंड इन ए पॉलीगन एंड द इंटीरियर ऑफ द रीजन हैज टू बी फाउंड देर आर मेनी वेज टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम पेरिटी चेक एलग्रिथम इज ए टेक्निक यूज टू डिसाइड वेदर ए पॉइंट इज इन द इंटीरियर ऑफ द पॉलीगन पेरिटी चेक एलग्रिथम आर बेस्ड ऑन द फैक्ट दैट A straight line intersect any closed curve, such as the contour of a region, and even number of times by controlling the number of intersection and finding the first first intersection. The segment between the first and second intersection is inside the contour. The segment between the second and the third intersection is outside the contour. So when the lines are tangent to the contour to the point of contact, must be counted twice as intersection, as shown in the figure. We can see here. the action by coordinate there is a control filling algorithm and the vertices like point 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 is there we have to remember that the lines are tangent to the contour the point of contact must be counted twice as intersection because there is a uh, there is a uh, double counting why there is double counting uh, of this uh, uh, intersection because the, these lines are uh, tangent to the uh, this contour The algorithm is not restricted to a simple connected polygon. It will fill any number of regions if their contour has been ordered together. The so first part of contour filling algorithm: open contour file for input. Read the next segment. Does the segment intersect with by minimum plus uh, this the layer thickness or layer height? Del by no. Then end of file is there. If find the coordinates of the intersection, end of file is there. Store coordinates of the intersection from maximum to minimum. Six segment between first, second, third, fourth intersection tool path. Then put the by is equal to by max is not. Then by is equal to by plus del max. Then close the tool path. This is the contour filling algorithm used for the slicing contour generation. So this is all about this uh, slicing. So today we have discussed about this STL file format. Uh, construction and the slicing of the files slicing of the uh, slicing of the file and the stl file format